The number of butterflies in the region could be declining. Li Kongchen Natural History Museum has noticed a dip in the number of specimens collected over 63 years while creating a virtual catalog of its collection. For a closer look, we're joined now by Dr. Huang Wei Song from the Li Kongchen Natural History Museum. Good evening. How serious is this declining butterfly population and what's the ecological impact of all this? Well, there can be um, quite a number of different factors that can lead to the decline. So definitely a lot more investigation is required. So for example, the field activity for the collectors could just be decreasing for some reasons or another. Uh, but it could be the, the fact that the natural butterfly populations are decreasing in itself. And of course, that needs to be looked into. Uh, and of course, then the solutions will need to be found in order to get them to back up again. And how big a role is land development playing in this decline? Well, of course, with any kind of human development, you're going to have um, natural vegetation that's going to be lost. In terms of for butterfly species, they are, of course, very, very integrated to the natural ecosystem. Uh, in terms of the plant species, the moment that they are lost, uh, you're going to see the corresponding uh, species decline for the butterflies as well. So, uh, of course, there can be a concern in that case. And if, that, if there is any kind of decline, uh, restoration efforts will have to be looked into as well. And Dr. Huang, to that point of just, you know, the place that the butterfly has in our ecology, how are we going to restore butterfly diversity then? So for butterflies, actually, they are um, quite tightly linked to the host plants. So the caterpillars, the young of the butterflies feed on the host plants. So the moment you can determine what are the host plants that they feed on, uh, you can actually introduce back the host plants and then you can talk about repopulating and strengthening the, the whatever population that's remaining. So to restore the, the, the ecosystem in that way is actually quite possible. Well, the declining population was of course detected during your digitization project. And let's take a look at how that works. Before researchers can take photographs of the specimens, they must gently brush them with a small amount of alcohol to remove and kill mold and spores. This can take up to 30 minutes per specimen. After that's done, they're suspended on nylon strings and photographed. More than 12,000 butterflies like these have been digitized. They were collected across Singapore and Malaysia from 1936 to 1998. Well, Dr. Huang, it looks like quite a painstaking process, a very, a very delicate process as well. How difficult was this to do? Yes, indeed. Every single specimen is fragile, so we have to be very, very careful when handling them. Even the labels that come with them are actually uh, can be very brittle because of old age. So special um, gloves need to be worn. We need to handle them with forceps in order to make sure that the, even the natural oils that we have on the fingertips do not contaminate and deteriorate the labels further. Uh, special training needs to be done for handling of the specimens. Uh, so every single specimen is almost like a piece of artwork. So we can't spare the time more than whatever that is re required. So there's a lot of care. Uh, and of course, that takes up quite a bit of the time when handling them. And Dr. Huang, we understand that the, mu the museum's stick insects could be next. Yes, that's right. Uh, so the next project we're going into is actually looking into our stick, stick insect collection. Uh, in Southeast Asia, we have the highest diversity of stick insects. And within the museum, we actually have quite a good collection of them. Uh, so that's what we're moving into next. Okay, well, thank you for sharing it with us this evening. Dr. Huang Wei Song from the Li Kongqian Natural History Museum.